thoughts, feelings? Okay. Um, so, aeroplanes, right? You're trying to fit a lot in there. You're trying to fit enough seats for everyone in there. You're trying to fit a toilet. You're trying to fit a place to put your bags and stuff. So I don't think that they can just make aeroplanes bigger just to sort of include everyone. Um, there's a lot of people, you know, I know some people who are like really tall and it's like they can't make the aeroplane taller just because tall people exist, you know what I'm saying? So aeroplanes are never going to be the, the, the right size for everyone. The aeroplane does the aeroplane's job as to what it needs to do it's but i don't think you could call it discrimination just because aeroplanes are small because we all know that we're trying to compact a lot in there so that's my opinion nobody told you to eat that much food i knew you was gonna say that and look, i'm not trying to be horrible here but if you want to do that that's up to you but the world does not have to bend to your will if you want to eat so much food that you can't fit through the doorway that's up to you that's not everybody else's problem the airline should not make any accommodations for you. You chose to do that. That's dependent on if it is not down to health. Those things are extremely rare. If you have um, a health issue, because it's because it's an anomaly, I can still make the argument that they shouldn't make the they shouldn't design the airplanes to accommodate for these people. That might sound harsh, but if you're in a very very small like. Uh, subsection of the population that is unfortunately affected by thyroids does that mean that everything else sort of changes around you i don't think so but i don't think she's in that i think she chose to be where she is if you want to eat to your heart's content i'm not saying don't do it if you want to do that go ahead and do it there's consequences that come with that it's not just your health i don't think that the airplane should be making anything bigger you should be more considerate when you get on an airplane I would hate to put people through that. I would hate to put the... Put, put, can you imagine being the person sitting on the aisle and you got to fly to China? It's like a 24-hour flight and you're stuck with... What's her face from TikTok? You, you should be more considerate of other people. If you want to do that shit, go ahead. But there's going to be things in life that are going to be harder for you. It's just, that's just the way it is. You are carrying way too much weight. That You are carrying a dangerous amount of weight. You're a danger to yourself and you're an inconvenience for people around you. It's not discrimination. Hold the L. Deal with your consequences. You want to eat the cookies in the cookie jar? Go ahead. Eat every single one. I ain't shaming you for it. Just understand that there are consequences and you live in reality. And that's it. Anything you want to add to it? You sure? I'd add more, but we want to keep our channel. <laughs> well look there's this one thing that i heard before where it was like apparently fat people have to pay for two airplane tickets because they're taking up two seats i think they pay for two seats mm. yeah yeah uh, as you should if you take up two seats and you pay for it you think somebody should pay for two ticket prices to go abroad just because of their weight if you're spilling over to the other seat then yeah Especially if it's on a packed flight. That's somebody else that could have taken that seat. But you... Might not, but what is this? You chose that life. You chose that. If you're not in that small 1% that, that suffers with thyroid issues, you chose it. You should have to pay. If you're spilling into another seat, why wouldn't you have to pay? I don't understand. I'm not even trying to be nasty. It just makes sense. I don't know. If there was a situation where I had to take up two seats and it's not because of my weight, it could be anything. It could be that, I don't know, is there like a, do people have like a fear of other people being near them? Is that some kind of phobia? It probably is. There's phobias for everything. So if I had a phobia of people sitting next to me, let's say, I can't have somebody as close to me as what Sabi is now. So on the airplane, I can't have people next to me. What, that seat's just gone? People can't buy it now because, because of you? No, pay for that seat. You live, this, this is just reality. And the thing is, you could, you could be more sympathetic to the person with the phobia. I can't be sympathetic to that person. You got so big that you couldn't fit through the door. The door. And you want to talk about discrimination. Where is the accountability? I, I'm not being fat phobic, am I? I oh, maybe by YouTube standards, maybe I am. But I don't feel like I am. I have fat friends. 
but they're tuned into reality. I'm sorry, like, what do you think this is? I saw another video of her where she was trying to get into a taxi. And it was like... The same girl. The same girl. She was trying to get into a taxi. Or maybe it wasn't, but it was someone of that size. And they were trying to get into the taxi and they were were like, oh, you're complaining, blah, 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 this, that. And I'm just like, what are you complaining about? You're from the first world. You know how things work here. You chose to get to that size. And to get to that size, you have to try. You have to try. There's some effort that went in there. And it's cool. You want to do that? That's by all means. I get like people struggle with their weight. I've struggled with my weight before. But I'm sorry that you just you live with the consequences of your actions. Society does not need to bend to your bad decisions. That's, that, is your, that is a you problem. If you need to buy three seats on the plane because nobody can sit on the aisle now, you're paying for those three seats. You should pay for an inconvenience tax. Those are three seats that somebody else could have been sitting in with their partner that they can't sit on now. No, I'm sorry. I'm not being fat phobic here. This is, this is just what it is. It is what it is. I wouldn't have said anything if she didn't write discrimination there. Who, who the fuck is discriminating against you? Yeah, it's definitely not discrimination. 100% not. People just want you can't expect a whole, like, aeroplane to change. Yeah, like, we have an obesity problem in this country, but we, not to that extent. That's insane. You see when she was trying to go through the doorway? Like, it was like, you but know, in the cartoons. she was still fitting through, though. She was still fitting through the gaps. She was still fitting through. There was some effort that was there, like, which she had to turn sideways, for example. Right? Don't laugh. <laughs> you know, in the cartoons where, like, you'd get the... the <laughs> I don't even know what you're laughing at. You know, in the cartoons when the woman had to walk through the door and her butt would get stuck in it. That's what happened to you. Like, if you don't see there's a problem there, then I'm sorry. That, that is a you problem. <laughs> you can cut the video off. <laughs> I don't even know what you were laughing at. 